If somebody caught a pass downfield for Wake Forest in 2015 that was a wide receiver, he most likely was a freshman. Uh, the future looks bright at wide receiver for the Demon Deacons. We bring in a Robert Reinhardt from Blogger So Dear to help us out uh, at the wide receiver spot. Uh, it looks pretty good here, Robert. You got three really good ones who had very productive freshman years in Cortez Lewis, uh, Tabari Hines, also Chuck Wade in the mix. These guys all caught between 32 and 47 passes and uh, got downfield. Yeah, I mean, I, th I think if you look at the wide receiver position, um, you could say it's it's probably Wake Forest's best best position uh, as as a unit. A lot of young talent, as you mentioned, and they you know they were um, pretty well pretty well regarded coming out of high school, and um, you know productive and and still as young players, and they made some impact plays against um, some some good opponents. Uh, Tabari Hines made you know a, a big impact play against uh, Louisville, I believe. Cortez Lewis did so. Um, yeah, the, the future is very bright at that position. Uh, that was a big focus of Clawson's sort of second recruiting class. He wanted to try and establish the offensive line first since they, they take longer to develop. Um, and then in the 2015 class, you'll you see he focused. Uh, that's where we got Hines and Wade. Lewis was a late addition to the uh, 2014 class, but he, he redshirted. But, um, yeah, really, really promising. Um, one thing he you know, Clawson has wanted is, is just more playmakers on the team, people who can, you know, take a five-yard slant route and turn it into 20-25, maybe a touchdown. Um, and, and I think those three players have the speed and quickness to, to, help, to help do that. Lewis caught 47 passes last year, 611 yards. Uh, three of his four touchdowns came in the last uh, four games of the year, so uh, he – uh, scored some points late for the Demon Deacons in some close ball games. Uh, you look at the backups, and we see a kid that was rated 76th at his position, according to ESPN out of Miami. That's Stephen Claude. You also have some other backups that could push for some playing time. Alex Bachman, who did so in 2015, and also Scotty Washington. Yeah, I, I think uh, those are a number of players who are, who are exciting. Stephen Claude was a guy I was really excited about. Uh, coming out of high school, to be honest, I was a little surprised that he he redshirted last year, just knowing what I knew about uh, having receivers who were going to play as, as true freshmen in, in his pedigree. I mean, he, he was, uh, I think, second team all state in about eight a uh, in Florida down in the Miami region. So he, he was a very talented prospect, had a number of, of power five offers, but I think he will have you know, much like maybe not to the extent that Cortez Lewis did last year, but um, I think he could have a pretty solid impact for us at, at the receiver position. And then Bachman's an interesting um, person because, um, you know, he wasn't that highly regarded coming out of high school. He had, due to special teams, he played last year as a true freshman. And a lot of reports that he's been catching a lot, catching a lot of balls in, in spring practice. Uh, he had an injury towards the end, so we weren't able to see him uh, in in the spring game, but I I think that he'll be interesting to watch uh, throughout fall camp. And then uh, sort of a, a wild card who I just thought of is Jared Crump, who did not play last year uh, due to I believe he tore his Achilles. Uh, so it's always interesting to see how he bounce back from that uh, from that injury. But he'll be a redshirt senior this year, so uh, he's been productive in the past. So he could certainly uh, contribute. So and then Scotty Washington, a six five target, very athletic. Um, can go up and get the ball. So uh, he's he's an interesting piece. So a, a lot of talent, and we'll be able to rotate in a lot of guys with with speed and for different situations. So I, I'm very excited about about this receiving core, both for this year and then obviously moving forward, given how how young the entire unit is. Then a tight end. If uh, if you've got a good one, he gets pegged as the security blanket for the quarterback, and you've got one in Cam Serene, might be the best in the ACC. He's caught a hundred balls over the last two years. Yeah, Cam Serenay has been been very productive for Wake Forest over the last two years. Um, you know, he, he he's a very good catcher. He can go over the middle. He can create mismatches um, due to the you know his his size size and speed. He can go up and get the ball. So I mean, he he's um, you know a a really nice addition for us. And um, you know, if you just throw him a shorter pass, he, he's you know very reliable to to catch it and move the chains. All right, and behind Serenay, you've got some depth there, some guys that may get into the mix as well. 
Yeah, yeah. So the Devin Pike is probably the next guy in line. He'll be a junior this year. Uh, he, he played as a true freshman and true sophomore over the last uh, last two years. Um, and one interesting thing about his opportunity is Serene was out for most of uh, spring practice, so he was able to get a lot of first-team reps. Um, and, you know, so that's not something Serene needed during spring practice. So it was really probably for the better uh, of, of the team and the program that Pike was able to get all of those reps. And, um, you know, I wouldn't be surprised to see us potentially use some, some twin tight end sets. Um, this season, and then Brandon Chapman, he was an early enrollee at tight end. Uh, he was had a pretty good spring. I don't know exactly what the coaching staff's um, plan is regarding redshirting him, but he'll have an opportunity to play play this fall. So I think you know the tight end position, along with the receivers, is 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 a strong one for Wake. Okay, one of the better tight ends in the ACC and across the country, uh, coupled with three wide receivers coming off freshman years, in which they caught a hundred plus balls combined. Uh, so a pretty good situation to wide out for Wake Forest if they can get the blocking and the quarterback play to put it all together. Uh, Robert Reinhardt from Blogger So Dear helping us out at wide receiver for Wake. Thanks, Robert. Hey, thank you so much.